Welcome back, everyone. Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me today to a new episode of Music with Nick. Today we have a marathon by Michael. Um, super interesting. I've never heard of any of these except one artist on the list. So super excited to hear some new stuff today. Um, thank you so much, Michael, for sponsoring the marathon. I do appreciate it very, very much. And of course, everyone watching and supporting the channel, you know, with your likes and your comments and subscribing and all that good stuff. Thank you. I do really appreciate it. And so does Alexia. Um, so let's get started with the list. There's a couple of names on here that I might be unable to pronounce, um, but I'll do my best. I'll, I'll do my best. Um, so let's take a look here. So we're going to start it off with uh, Deborah Conway and Willie Zeiger. And this is the name that I know, Neil Finn. That's uh, uh, the uh, song Exquisite Stereo from the album Exquisite Stereo. Let's, let's see what year this is. So I do know Neil Finn, of course. I did a marathon. Um, Crowded House, wonderful stuff. Um, then we're going to do M. Griner. There, there it goes, these names. Joe Elliott, Almighty Love. This is the album Gem and I, 2010. Uh, then Clanad and Bono in a Lifetime from the album Makala. This is 1985. Then uh, The, The, that's literally the name, The, The. Kingdom of Rain, Mind Bomb uh, from 89. And then trout and this is another name that i kind of like like literally <laughs> michael chose like the the weird uh, the weird named art uh most of the weird named artists on this one maybe it's a theme um ne nehe or ni neni cherry i i have no idea how to pronounce this i'm sorry because there's no accent anywhere so i just it's like neni i guess and homebrew is the album 1992. Now, I wanted to say thank you so much, um, Michael, for providing me with this guide. I won't read it um, right now because I want to keep this short, but I'll, uh, I've been, I read it before, um, you know, putting the list together and I'm going to read it while I listen to the music, but I, it's just information about the artists and the songs and, and so forth. So, but I won't like just disclose all that information. Not that it's personal, but just to get moving. So let's get it, give it up for es es Exquisite Stereo, Deborah Conway. Here we go. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoy. Let's get moving. Okay, so there's some information I do want to share on that. <laughs> so this uh, marathon has a theme. It's unconventional duets. Uh, duets, I'm sorry. And uh, this is, in fact, um, Deborah um, 
Conway and I did listen to it and now I remember but it's like you know when you do so many videos and also all the videos I do with Alexia and just the music that I listen to by myself it's becomes be like like a warped memory so I did do re mi the album do re mi with her she's the lead singer but I don't think I saw that but I do know do re mi the last marathon that um that Michael did and Neil Finn from Credit House um, and this fascinating uh, duet. So yeah, that's so cool that it's a, that's why there's all these Bono and, 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 you know, so really cool. And I love the sound, very, I guess, new age for the time. Uh, let's see, did I say it was 2000? I mean, it sounds like, you know, a little bit new age. It sounds like a little bit electronic, very good though.
very cool. I loved it. I love the harmony part. Um, like when they're singing together in that minor third, you know, way like the root and then the minor third. Um, and I don't know if it was Willie or Neil, but such a sweet voice, uh, with Deborah, who is when she's singing, like she has like this distortion on the voice, you know, and then she sounded a little bit like the only one that I can recall, uh, that has ever sounded like that is I think Lana's, um, Morrissey, that's uh, just the trademark that she does with the distortion in the in the mic. <clears throat> but then when she would take it off and they would sing the harmony part, so good. And it just sounds very early 2000s, like very industrial. Like <clears throat> it reminds me of music that was coming out, <clears throat> excuse me, during that time, like Rage Against the Machine. And um, I don't know. Just reminds me of like Marilyn Manson. Not Marilyn Manson, of course, is more metal rock, but just that industrial vibe to the like the guitar solos were kind of like you know pushed aside a little bit. There were still, uh, you know, little solos being played, but not like guitar solos. You know, just like maybe a little bit of a lick here and there. It's just the time. It's just the, that sound. I really like it. Um, this was very good. So um, so the next band before, I don't want to interrupt. This is, I guess I do. I will end up reading. Um, this is uh, this says Canadian artist M. Griner first recorded the song in her 2006 album Summer of High Hopes, then re-recorded it as a duet with Joe Elliott lead singer of Def Leppard. Uh, wow, I love Def Leppard. Not that much, but I do love their stuff. Bono of U2 listed, um, listed the song as one of the top 10 songs he wished he had written. Oh, wow. So Bono is also involved, but also in the third song. Okay. All right. Thank you. Almighty Love by M. Griner. Let's go. So, I mean, if Bono from U2... I really like YouTube. We've never done YouTube. I, Alexa's not a fan of YouTube, but I, I think because she doesn't know YouTube. Uh, I had one CD when I was younger with the song Lemon. And I was just like, that's such a cool song. Um, I just love his voice. I love their sound. They're a rock band, but like pop rock, you know, YouTube. I guess their early stuff is more you know, rock and punk, I think, but I could be wrong. I'm really not that experienced when it comes to you two. So, all right, almighty love, let's go.
Beautiful. The orchestration, of course, like killed it. Very, very beautiful. It gave the song depth and um, just wonderful. I love Bill. Uh, I was gonna say Billy Elliot. That movie, of course, I love Billy Elliot. The movie about the boy that um, becomes a ballet dancer. It's so so beautiful. But no, Joe Elliot um, of Def Leppard. I remember. I was obsessed with that song. Um, I'll be two steps behind. <laughs> um, and it's so funny because it's, he's like instantly recognizable, you know. And that's crazy because when they first started Dev Leopard, they were considered British uh, new wave of heavy metal along like with Iron Maiden. And, and they were pretty heavy. And then they became more like a like a well, I mean, Dev Leopard is pretty heavy but i wouldn't consider them heavy metal i wouldn't them consider like you know it's more like uh they have their ballads and that's where they found their success and that's cool and i really like them for what they are i guess their early stuff could be you know um heavier just like scorpions you know when i would think of scorpions i always would think of like songs like holiday and winds of change and you know and uh, i was like well you know they're a good rock band and i never really knew the 70s scorpions and they're like super metal and had like this amazing shredder guitar player um Uli john roth and it's just amazing really um so yeah how, how band changed but them together this was a really nice duo duet um, I really enjoyed it. Very, very beautiful. And um, let me see what time this, what year this was. Wow, this is like very new. Well, 2010. Um, very nice. Um, her and him together. And really, like I said, the the uh, orchestration around like put everything super well together. Very, very enjoyable. Um, this is very nice because I'm sure a lot of people are discovering these artists for the first time or maybe together as a duet, you know. So it's very, very cool. So now ba uh, Bono and Cl Clanad, I think I'm saying this correctly, in a lifetime. Now let's see what Michael has to give us here, like what trivia. In a lifetime by Clanad featuring Bono. Um from Makala is that not Bono from you speaking of Bono here he joins Irish band Clanad for his haunting duet Bono was a big fan of the band and would play their uh their song Harry's Game just before you two went on stage for years oh okay all right so it does feature Bono on vocals 
Oh, there's Senate O'Connor coming soon here in the uh the next one. Uh let's see. <laughs> I think I made a mistake. Oh no, actually I'm I'm good. Okay. Um yeah, okay, so third song, uh this is uh in a lifetime. Let's let's hear it. Wow, that improvisation. That was insane. I love the, um, the, I mean, both of the voices are just, it was so, I love the whole mystical theme. Doodle -dum -dum, doodle -dum, doodle -dum. You know, that sounded amazing. Bono here just like outdid himself. Like he has such a good voice. Just singing normal, high, low, whatever he does, he sounds masterful. Like, I've, I've forgotten how good Bono sings. Um, and Shanat, beautiful. The whole, I love the, the, the sa I don't know if it was a sax or this smaller instrument. Um, it sounded literally like... Like the one they use, I'm an Englishman in New York, you know, from Sting. Um, I don't know. I think I've heard this instrument. Um, I don't know if it's a sax or if it's a smaller instrument, but I've heard it in many... It doesn't sound like, like the one from Dark Side of the Moon, the sax. It sounds literally like the instrument from... I'm an Englishman in New York. So let me know, guys. I'm not the expert on wind instruments, but I do recognize, I guess, better now than a couple of months ago. 
Um, okay, so this was beautiful. This was absolutely gorgeous. I even sent it to Alexia. Um, I hope she can like listen to it right away. Um, okay, so next song that's from Kingdom of Rain, and this is um by by the the with Sanid O'Connor. Uh, that she just passed away. May her soul rest in peace. Uh, from Mind Bomb. Um, 1989. That's it. Seemed only fitting to include the song by the the or the the, along with the Irish singer Sanid O'Connor, who died recently. Yeah, it's insane. So young, 57. That's not even an age to you know. That's like super young. Um, so let's play. Uh, you know, let's pay some tribute to her, of course. And um, that's all that Michael included here. Let's go. Some things going wrong. <laughs> 
very cool. It's so cool how they recorded the rain here and the thunder. <sighs> <laughs> I was just thinking like, oh, I wish I had this on a loop, you know, this rain and thunder and literally you can pull up your phone. Listen to this. Um, I have this app. <clears throat> um, do I still have it? Um, and it's wait. I guess I have it somewhere here. Um, but I I know you guys know this, uh, that you can just like for sleeping and meditating and if I would just find it. Um, but it's wonderful. You can hear like thunder and, and rain and wind and a white noise, you know, whatever you feel comfortable with. I can't find it right now. But um Back to the music. This this was great. I love Sanid O'Connor's voice, and I never had heard him before. They made an amazing duet, and the music was really cool. The bass, you know, the way they were playing the drums with the snare, like um, the whole vibe of the song. Really cool. It started with the acoustic guitar, and then became more, you know. A lot of delay on the guitars. Really cool, really cool song. I send it, obviously, to Alexia. Um, uh, so this was very nice. Uh, thank you so much for, you know, introducing a song with Sanito O'Connor, and um, and him. Uh, the the the. I I don't know if it's the the or the the. Uh, I've never heard of him before, but this was very nice. Thank you. Very interesting indeed. So um, this is the last one. Now this is the one of the names I I was not sure how to pronounce at all. Uh, it says Trout by Ne 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 Cher, uh, Cherry <clears throat> and Michael Stipe of Homebrew. Uh, let's see. Oh, from my from REM. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Um, so she's a hip hop artist, Nene Cherry, and Michael Stipe of REM. The song is directed at educators. All right. And the importance of certain education in schools. Um, very very that's good to know you know because now i can focus more on the, the lyrics um thank you so much michael this was wonderful because he was like thank you no thank you michael you know for um putting this out and you know getting in touch with me and um i do appreciate it these are really special songs because i would never know i mean i guess you can look it up what are the best duos or duets or weird duos but um yeah <laughs> i would have never done it so this is from 1992 so let's give it up for these two Valentine for a long soul. You can treat me like a fool. Hey, 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 hey. Some love brings me down. Some love turns me round and round and round and round. That I 
did? Is it something that I, that I got in my head? Laying in my bed, it's so real, cause I know what I feel. But together we stand, and together we lay. Hey, listen That's to how the I voice live tomorrow and today. Listen to the voice of experience. Stop the beat, and listen to the melody. Round and round and round and round. I have so much to say. It's been broiling in my mind. <laughs> this is very good. So first of all, to the um, to the performers, <clears throat> him. I mean, he's so instantly recognizable. The way he phrases his words and also his voice is just very unique. REM is a band that you recognize, you know, just by it's like oh, that's REM because of the vocalist. And then I love that it was hip hop. I I was wonder I was like thinking, I wonder when I get my first hip hop like request or you know marathon because I wouldn't mind. I used to listen to rap uh when I was younger, but it was because I was lucky enough to meet the uh the rap band Run DMC. And I was just fascinated by these guys, you know, and they're really good and they're very clean. The lyrics are not about, you know, it's it's not a gangster, you know, it's like very it's like stories and they rhyme and they make really good beats and they don't swear. And I really like that, you know, and of course, I got into some other stuff, you know, so I've never been like um, not 
appreciative of rap or hip hop. I was actually very, very, um, before I was, before I even got into rock music, I was listening to rap music and, but classic, very old, like eighties, you know, I, I never got into like Cypress Hill or like, Snoop Dogg, yes, a little bit, or Eminem, you know, I never got into that. I was already listening to rock at that at that time, but I did listen to Run DMC for a while and The Fat Boys and um, what was the other band? Um, Beastie Boys, you know, so I do appreciate it. And uh, I know a lot of people don't like it, but you should like check out, you know, not all rap is bad. Now, the new rap that... That mumble, like, stuff is horrible. It's, like, it's the worst. Like, it's so bad. It, I, even rap artists don't call it rap. They, it's just the, the worst. It's, like, the last five years, you know? Um, but, yeah, I love the song. I love the drums. I love the harmonica. I love the whole vibe and, and the sound of it. Really cool. Now, the lyrics are very important because, yes, this is the 90s, and... Um, I remember we were getting sex, sexual education, I think like in sixth grade, um, very late, but it, it is very important. There is countries that are very conservative, very Catholic, where they don't get sexual education, like in Mexico. They just don't talk about it. And that's when kids, you know, uh, when accidents, you know, happen and like teenage, teenagers become pregnant and stuff like that. They don't know. And... It's just a problem, you know. I think nowadays schools is obviously completely different. Uh, this is something that I would have to create a new channel for. I don't want to get into it, but I think it's like horrible what they do nowadays with kids. Um, uh, teachers, I think they put teachers in schools. And I'm sorry if you're a teacher, I don't mean to know. I have nothing against teachers, but especially there's teachers for a certain kind of education that I don't agree with. And this might, might sound a little bit too political, so I'm not going to get into it, but it's about the whole gender thing. And um, I'm going to leave it at that. I don't want to get in trouble. Um, but it's just, I just personally, I don't agree with it. I think that you somebody we should wait for children to develop and then make decisions not when they're you know six seven years old and it's just insane uh that's like something i struggle with very very much uh because i think it's wrong you should let your child become an adult and then they can make and they can do decisions um, but they're pushing like this. I don't know. I don't want to get into it. I, I'm just going to get into trouble. I, mean, I need a new, I need a different YouTube channel to talk about those things. But hey, this music was amazing. Thank you, Michael. Thank you so, so much. Um, this was great. All these duets were just mind blowing. It was great to hear Bono. It was great to hear Sunil O'Connor. Uh, it was great to hear uh, Neil Finn. It was great to meet, you know, New singers, Joe Elliott, you know, that song, wherever you go, I love it. Um, it was just great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I guess I knew more of the guests than the original uh, performers. So that's kind of uh, cool because I did, did know R.E.M., uh, the singer. I did know Sanid. I, I knew Bono, Joe Elliott and Neil Finn. So literally all the ones that are doing backup or the the that were invited those were the ones that i knew <laughs> instead of the the original maybe we can do one backwards you know well thank you so much michael this was awesome i do appreciate it so much i pr appreciate everyone listening um leave your comments what which one was your favorite which one would you recommend listening to uh, maybe a part two or something you know um, I know there's always part twos and threes and fours and there's so much music I know, but I love that you guys are, you know, not being afraid of putting in a little hip hop. Like I got this other marathon that I do, um, that I did, um, yesterday and it also had some hip hop in it and it was just fantastic. It was great. Uh, let me know, um, 
let me tell you what it was so you know listen to the song uh good old days by macklemore that is a good hip-hop artist 26 million listeners monthly that's literally most the, the artist that with the most listens i've ever reacted to 26 million so yeah and it's not rap like it's just it's literally rhymes he just rhymes there's no swearing there's no gangster talk it's beautiful stuff thank you so much for being here thank you michael for this awesome request i do appreciate it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video